Ahoy Captain and welcome to the decarbonizer tutorial in which we're going to show you how to decarbonize your vessel in just five steps. So grab a cup of coffee, tea or rum, we don't judge, just sit back and relax and we'll show you the ropes. So here we have the decarbonizer, all we gotta do is choose a ship type down below and then we press uh, let's go. So in the first step we have ship data in which we can check our daily power demand and operational profile and if needed adjust them down below. In fuel and OPEX we can check if it coincides with our vessel. In ship and fuel parameters we can change ship and fuel parameters, really yes, in operational profile and power. We can change around with the power profile, see if that better matches our vessel. And then finally, in the engine characteristics and specific fuel curves, we can play around to see if it better fits our own specific fuel curves of our engine. And in that way, we get a good estimate of your vessel and operational profile in order to get started. Moving on to step two, regulation. And this step is not just taking a step forward, but also, also taking a step back because in this part we check to see what do we need to decarbonize and how much in the first place which rules and regulations apply and which targets do we set ourselves in order to comply with those rules and regulations so if the main or key rules and regulations you can customize your timeline here also with different client settings and uh, different kinds of shipping owners if you need so you can adjust your co2 target so that's the target you want to achieve for decarbonization yourself. You can check the most applicable rules and regulations, CAI, EXI, ETS. Wow, this doesn't look good, I have to say. And then finally, you can have a check at all identified rules and regulations that we have with some click-throughs for more info. So this is the part where you, where you get an overview on what you exactly need to do. Moving on to the third part, the fun part, the decarbonization part. We decarbonize, that's right. We make a list of all different technology measures and measures in general that you can apply to your vessel in order to reduce CO2 emission. You can see the capex investment and the day rate changes that apply to your vessel based on what you have put into ship data and the technologies that you do. You can choose up to three different measures. So that's a shore power type, a prevent type that prevents the combustion of fuel and a change type that changes your actual fuel mix. You scroll down below, you can see you can adjust these parameters if you want to more accurately represent what you need for your vessel. You can also make a fuel comparison in general where you can, in where you can change the fuel cost and see how that impacts your day rate. And then finally, we have now all the different emissions before and after you've applied different measures. So in this case, we see we don't have enough, uh, we don't, we don't, reach our target. So what we could do is go to biofuels, add some little bit more biofuels to the mix. There we go. And it, uh, we end up with, oh, a reduced day rate of 700 per day. It's great. Moving onwards to the fourth part, the business case part. And this is where the rubber meets the... That's right, time to get greedy. Here we see our uh, yearly OPEX, uh, CAPEX and OPEX rate. And we see that in, wow, well, one year we have our investment back. I'm not sure if this is correct folks, but at least what we do is we take everything that, that you've put in and make it into a nice cost graph, including net present value for the CFOs among us. So you can customize your business case with several different parameters. You can even choose between purchasing or lease method. In some cases that actually helps to improve your business case. You can adjust your fuel parameters one last time to see how that would impact uh, your case and only for those measures that you choose. You get a capex breakdown and in the final step I'm going to show you how you can get a full capex breakdown for each technology. We have an opex breakdown before and after to see how it will impact your different uh, opex parameters and then finally a carbon tax breakdown which will be available soon. Once you've done everything and you're happy and you know it you put your email address here you press pdf and you will be sent a premium report which I'm gonna show you now. And away we go. The tool that we just uh, filled in, yeah, everything is put into this beautiful report. So scroll through it, all the information down over here. 
We've added uh, quite something extra, as you can see. We've also added information technologies that you chose, uh, graphics, data, tables, more details. And as I stated, here we have a very detailed capex breakdown on everything that you need for the technology. And basically that's it. That's how the decarbonizer works. Now there's only one more thing left to say, and that is if you have any questions, if you need more help uh, in specific kind of customization, you can uh, check the pricing section or you can simply contact the help desk and we'll be there to help you and guide you along the way. Have a great day. Thank you.